Okay, this tutorial on Lunar Magic is going to cover map 16. Map 16 is something you might want to edit because when you're building your level you might have something that isn't usually used in the um, isn't usually used in the regular objects. So in map 16 and by using 8x8 you can also 8x8 graphics you can also you can um add new things to or modify tiles that you can put in the game. So let's open it up. Up here, the map 16 editor. This basically shows you whoops. This basically shows you all the tiles that you can be used in the game. You can scroll through this using the up and down arrows. You can see there's a lot of blank ones. The first, I don't know how many pages in the map 16 are for foreground, and then after that it's for background. Like, let's see, right here, like these pages are currently being used by the ROM for background. Looks pretty messy. Anyway. So you have, this is the tile editor, um, you click on, let's say, you shouldn't edit these usually because these are the default, um, these are the default tiles that are used by the game. You basically you click on one of the squares and it shows you down here what you clicked on. It shows you the whole 16x16 16 16 block and then it shows you the 8x8 8 8 tile. And then you can hit here and you'll see the attribute. Up here, this shows the graphics that each corner is going to be used. This is going to be using graphics one tile 194, 195, 192, 193. You can see this in the 8x8 editor. Let's click there now. This shows everything in a more zoomed in manner because the 8x8, like if I click on this, that's just a part of the pipe and that would just be one of these tiles. And in the 8x8, you can you can change the palette to look at it a different way. Like here, the correct foreground palette is. And then you can edit things. Like in here, you can, uh, if you're good at editing graphics, you can change you can change what it looks like. And then to save those changes, you would right click onto these, and it would change it into the background. Um, let's do a minor modification. We'll add a couple pixels. Okay, now what you would do here is, first, well first what you would have to do is, before you do graphics editing, you always want to come up here and um, extract the graphics, quick extract graphics, it creates a whole new folder where all the graphics are extracted in the files, you want to do it here too, but no graphic, yeah, no X graphics are present in the ROM, so, anyway, so here, once you edit something here, you hit, let's see, F9, and it will save it to the file and hit yes and then you insert the graphics and then the graphics are saved you can see the change here it's very small and subtle anyway that's how you do that now up in here back to up in here you can change the tiles up to here by putting in the number you can select a tile and then down here down here it'll say when you select a tile you click on one and then down there it will say tile 0 by 144 selected so let's say I wanted to use that tile 114 is that what it was? Something like that. so I hit OK and then it's using that tile right there now if I want to edit let's say I already have the ground edge but I want to keep it the same I just want to make it look a little bit differently, I would click on one of these corners, and then I would select that corner down here. And then I could right click on in here to paste that corner wherever I want it. Like maybe I want this to appear over here, or, or down here, and then I click here. And then when I have, like, then I can have to click this again to, um, for this one. I could say flip X, and it flips the X on that, or flip Y, and then paste that, so then choose this, flip X. You can do whatever you want, you can get pretty creative with that. Or you can flip X of the entire thing, or flip Y of the entire thing. That is how you make, let's say, a ground edge be like this, you know. Whether it's going to be facing up or facing down as a ceiling or a, le or a ledge. Now, back to the editor. This Now, the palette just changes the attribute for the palette. Like, use palette 0, it changes the palette. Use palette 1, it changes the palette. This is independent of the level palette. 
of the default level palette. So if you want to make two different colors for grounds for some reason, then you can do that. <coughs> then layer priority disabled. Um, I believe this means that it takes a priority over Mario. So if it's like something Mario can go through, then Mario will Mario will appear behind it. At least I'm not entirely sure like of that. So don't quote me on that or anything. Then down here is really important. Make this tile behave like tile number whatever. Different tiles will behave differently. There's you can basically what I do is I just kind of check. I don't really memorize it. I mean, some of them I have, but not like over time, gradually learned what they are. Like, if I wanted to make a tile that act like a cloud, you could jump through it, but not go down through it. You land on it and such. You click here, go to here, and you can see it's acting like 106. So I want let's say this to act like 106. And then I want to use palette 2. And that's it. I would then, now that I made this block the way I want to, I want to go down into here in a blank area and right click. That means it'll now paste there and it will be saved into this position, a blank position. Then once you do that, you want to hit F9. You'll save the foreground and background map 16 data to the ROM. Yes. And then it's saved in there. And now to, now to change this into the level, I'd open the objects window, or direct map 16 access, go down, select it, and right click paste it in, and then if you mouse over it, it says, a cloud tile that Mario can stand on. Cool. Some more, some general things that I, that I usually do, is if I want to use a cement block type item, but I don't want to use an ugly cement block, I can take a, you can take a ground ledge and like click on one of the corners, and then paste it up here, and then click in that corner again, and like flip Y, and then paste again, flip that X, paste again, flip Y, and then you have a nice looking cement block type thing. Looks better than a cement block. Make sure though that when you make stuff like this you want to set it correctly. I know that cement blocks are tile 130. So I save it, F9. Of course if you want to build something that's bigger like um, a tall ledge you can do that. Like let's say I wanted to build a wall that but it's only one thick. It does it's not any thicker than one thick. So I'll go one three zero. I want to use I'll use a regular palette. And then I want to choose to make this flip oops, flip X. Flip X. And then I have that. Oops, that sucks. Thick. And then I have and then I can edit it, so let's see, 180, 180, yeah, perfect, and then make sure it's, okay, F9 to save, yes, close, and then I have a nice looking, generally nice looking wall type ledge that I can add in. Alright, so that covers it for this tutorial. I hope I answered any questions on Map16. I know there were some other questions that I saw in my comments. Um, you can keep posting comments or message me. That might be a better idea. Um, either way, I'll probably get to whatever you wanted eventually. Um, see you next time.